But welcome to today's lesson. I just wanted to indicate to you, this is across the board, that all activities that are due should be done by the end of this week. Now, if you go to your to-dos, I'm just going to type in grade 5 and just see which activities are due. Grade 5 and you 5, 5A. Okay, so all the grade 5s are doing the same activity, so I can see all the grade 5 activities. The first one, TikTok challenge, something that you guys, we've already looked at before. Princess and the Frog, we'll have a good look at some of that, so we can understand how to do that. If you can see it's due in five days. If you read over there, it says repeats every week. The, it would be repeating at the end of this week. It'll come again. But I will switch that off so you don't see the repeat. All right, Princess and the Frog. I'm going to do it, but you're going to get it in your to-do section. I'm going to get it from the tool section. Princess and the Frog. Incidentally, in yesterday's coding lesson, we handled the collision event, which is part of this Newton thing. I'm going to launch it, but you won't do it that way. You will go to your to-dos. It says the first activity, when the princess is clicked, when you click the princess, can you make her move right towards the frog? So the first one, princess gets clicked on, and that triggers movement. Second one, the second challenge, stop the princess when she reaches the frog. When the princess collides with the frog, Stop the princess from moving. Third one, turn the frog. The third one, turn the frog into a princess. Now the princess has collided with the frog. Turn the frog into a princess. So they, they're going to touch each other. The princess touches the frog. And then the frog will become a prince. The fourth one is a monkey fairy tale. The monkey thinks the frog would, should turn the princess into an ape. The monkey wants the frog to turn the princess into an ape. Can you fix the program? That's debugging. Look at this bug over here. That's indicating you're looking for mistakes. Number five, make your own version of this fairy tale. So there you must make your own. Using a timer command to make changes happen over a time period. If you go over here, if you're ever stuck in Purple Mash, there is the button. It gives you a video over here that shows the general activity. But if you go to the hints, it will give you, it will warn you that you will lose some marks. If you press on this OK button, it will show you a video that describes exactly how to do that activity. But if I do go OK, you can see, look, it's showing a video. Um, or this is just showing you a little hint. When clicking, so here you drag, when clicking, the princess moves. Right, so when clicking, we need to indicate what is being clicked. Princess moves right. Now, when you go to the second challenge and you get it correct, you'll see next challenge. Now, I'm just going to do it this way, which you mustn't do. When, and it reads, when the princess collides with the frog, stop the princess from moving. So you go like this. The princess is going to be moving. So you go, princess is moving to see which direction she'll move, either to the left or the right. We see the princess is moving towards the frog. So the, this activity now that I'm showing you, the, she will go and towards the frog. So you'll see I'm out of design mode. She moves towards the frog. And then this event takes place, the collision. Now, who is the moving object? Princess moves. Princess collides. So that the one who collides is the moving object. So the princess is the moving object that strikes or collides with or touches the frog. It wouldn't be the frog in the first place. The moving, you want the princess to collide with the frog. Stop the princess. So the princess, you'll drag that in and the princess would then stop. The method used would be she just suddenly stops and then you'll get next challenge. Right, so that is the third one. Oh, she turns him into a frog. I have touched on that one already. The fourth one, debugging. Remember, I mean, you can see all this red writing at the bottom here is indicating errors. I haven't dealt enough with this little part over here. This is called the, the stepping through code. You can pause. Look, if I pause there, 
I can step through the code. I can go one block at a time. The monkey thinks the frog should turn the princess into an ape. So when you click on the princess, the frog moves. And here it says, when the frog collides with the someone. So what's going to be the moving object? It's the one that collides with the other. So the frog would be the moving object here. See, when you want to test your code, you can go to play. And you can replay your code again with that button. This code over here steps through it line block by block. And then we go to the next one. And this is the one that I really want you to do. This one you do last. You're going to start using, you'll you have the when click on a frog. The frog goes left. Then the collision event takes place. The frog collides with the princess. And then you're going to make the princess do something. She could stop or the frog could stop. And it's into a dinosaur frog over here. He's going to become a prince, as in the fairy tales. My eyes are so bad, I might choose the wrong prince. And then here's the timer. This is the one that we, you guys must also use. Make sure that you see this. It says, after one second. Now, if I put the code, this block that I'm moving here, into that block over there, it'll happen. It's part of, look, the yellow line around the edge that yellow line around the edge is indicating that this timer is part of the when frog collides with princess block. But if I put it over here, that means after one second, whatever occurs in this block now would occur straight after the play button in runtime straight away. One second, something will happen. So remember, try to use the timer. Think carefully where you want to use the timer. If you're going to use the timer over there, then it's going to happen straight after play button. Then the frog, something could happen to the frog, could move down. That'll be after one second, it'll move down when you press the play button. But if I move it over here, after the frog changes into a prince, then the frog will move down. Remember that even though the frog has transformed the image into a prince, it's still a frog. The identity of the object is still frog. It'll still follow and go down, even though it's, the picture shows a prince. But you must play around and explore in this bit of code. I think that's everything I wanted to show you. Think carefully about your coding and try to understand the logic of how things work. So don't rush through it. Thanks, boys and girls, for listening so wonderfully. And good luck with doing these activities. Remember, I did start off indicating that if you're stuck, press the help button, which I'm showing you on the board, and then go to the hint section. That will help you to get out of being in a stuck position.